raiders. They haven't lost their army yet. My army is still too small to, t to attempt a proper war against any of the human factions here. And we're not allowed to raid here for reasons. She is being raided by someone from over there. And... Huh. Hmm. Some random dude doing a thing. I think I can get away. Oh, well, they're going to leave before I get there. Oh, no. No. Okay. We might be able to come in here and kill that little army. Which is always nice. Destroying a little human force means we get the uh, favor of my boys. They love that kind of stuff. Attacking weak human stacks. But they didn't allow me to raid. Hmm. Again, for reasons. And I couldn't get the double tribal holding here this time. Oh well. Oh, we can build up this green skin camp. Right, it's pretty cheap. I definitely should do that. It is a little bit risky. Um, better to put all the good stuff in the big tribe, because it's more defensible. This one here is very easy for the opponents to lock down. But we have not been attacked in well, the whole of the campaign. So I'm going to bank on that continuing to be the case. Let me do that again. We have about 4,000 troops ready now in the background. She's being raided by all kinds of people. She says got 5,000 troops. This is a hill territory. I did notice that before when we fought here, we had a defensive bonus. Which means that if I start a war and I start to siege down this territory specifically, uh, I can sit here and just be defend that. And if I can defend that against her army and just beat it once... That would be enough to win the war. And she's being raided by all kinds of creatures. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I have three friends. Look at that. Invite to court. Invite to plot. No, still doesn't want to come. He just loves his leech that much. Okay. Bastard. A greenskin uprising in Bretonia. Interesting. With 2,400 troops. Okay. And they're still fighting Ethel Lauren. So it's starting to look like Bretonia is being pressured a bit. They have not lost their army yet. Though. Hmm. How many troops do you have command? 3,000. Okay. And this is a hills territory. This is a mountain territory. Um, you are owned by this guy who has 4,000 troops. Snack. Was that his name? <laughs> a goblin named Snack. Okay. But he lost that uh, war immediately. And got executed, yeah. 
Sounds about right. So he probably spawned on top of an army or something. Um, the, the, the Wood Elves are winning the war. And... Oh, there's a Bretonian revolt up here that is winning their fight. Very interesting. They have a Slanesh Daemonet. And he is a vampire, so an unholy alliance. A cast iron vampire who's a Slanesh worshipper. With the lore of death, so he is a necromancer. But he has a Slanesh demon in his realm. Well, that's scary. <laughs> But good, because they're terrorizing Petonia. Amazing. They might, that might be the first war that Petonia loses if they get to siege down this little holding. Things are happening. 5,000. He's in positive cash flow again, so he fixed his economy. Too bad. Look at him, though. He's just so bad. Such a bad character. I mean, he's got some martial. He's dull. Yeah. <laughs> this character isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Hmm. And my army is growing. Oh, look at this. Yeah, she's losing troops. Okay, she stopped losing troops, but 4,000 out of... She can have about 600 more. A little bit more than that. Eight hundred of that is from this territory itself. Hailfighter of Gork, it has come to our attention that your son Mari, no, Mari does not want to join our faction. I'm kind of annoyed that Mari hasn't joined uh, society by himself, but maybe they just don't do that. It might be. If I want to be a warlord of Gork, I need 2,000 toughness, and we are at 500. I could summon another large commander. Oh, we can hold a great festival again. Sure. And we have built a tribal holding. Nice. Hail, fighter of Gore. I have heard the news of the great celebration you are preparing for your fellow tribesmen. I'd wager you'd enjoy the company of a fellow warrior to exchange stories with. Yes, of course. Bax the Unchaste. He's another orc buccaneer. Look at that. Orc pirates. That's what I should have played. Orc pirates. Why didn't I think of that? Look at this guy. Impressive. He's an addict. Greenskin fighting is nine. Nice. Added of strategy. How? The Great Tribal Festival. Um, yeah, they want me to do the hunting thing, which I don't dislike. Let's go and do the hunting thing. They approve of my decision, my society, and we get a bit of toughness, have some health. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, she's regaining troops. Damn it. <laughs> this guy was murdered. Random. Viceroy. 
There's some wood elves here. Celebrations have begun. Welcome all. I wonder if I can get a non-aggression pack with some of these dudes. No. They don't wanna. Oh well. Join the existing def against Louis de Dame, right. I think I'm still in the defensive pact against him, indeed. Has he lost his army yet? No. To the great Warboss, Warboss Shakrek. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. Oh, he wants me to join his army or his battle. I don't want to be in a war down here. I would help, I would totally help someone like right near me if it benefited our cause, which it usually would if we're killing humans. But they never ask. Look at that. My levy is increasing, and I do think I want to buy this one too. Sure. How much money am I making? 12 per month. Oof. I, now the maximum I can have is 6,000 all of a sudden. So it is growing quickly with that new tribe. So if I could land another tribe, it means we just need to conquer one territory from one of our neighbors. And it could be Bretonia. Oh, they are losing troops. Not very quickly, so it's not a big battle. But it's going down. Which means that they are in a battle right now, occupied with that. So I could take this opportunity to declare war on Petonia. It doesn't seem like the smartest decision. Maybe we just like try to burn down this castle here. Something like that. Uh, this guy, I think, has too many troops. Let's see if we can go raid now. And if we are not able... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. It is winter. We have to wait. Apparently I can oh, still over uh, shoot the supply in here. Who are you? Oh. Do you want to ally me? No. He managed to gather his tribe down here again. The eating contest. And I'm fat, so I got this. With so many uh, lavish feasts being prepared for the festival, many of my guests have started to talk about uh, outcompeting each other to see who amongst them can eat fastest and the most, to the point that every other night we have an, uh, an eating contest or two. I can cheer on the others or join in. I'll join in. Who are you? Oh, a vessel of that guy. A long line of tribesmen sit next to each other, slamming their fists onto the table and loudly inciting uh, the few contenders to eat faster as the servants move back and forth forward and forward to, to bring more food and take away empty plates. I phase out for a moment, gacking, and then go back to my meal. Let the best uh, green skin win. I throw away the last bone and let out a long sigh. 
Looking at the pile of plates beside me, there's a moment of silence as my only remaining opponents fall down, followed by the cheering of the crowd. Some of the tribesmen try to raise me up, but <laughs> after a few failed attempts, they decide to just pat me on the back instead. Amazing. Uh, we gain prestige, toughness, 5% chance of getting gluttonous, and king of the harvest. Extra prestige, extra vassal opinion, and sex appeal. For some reason. Okay. Did I get gluttonous? No. Okay. The offering. With the period of festivities nearing its end, it's finally time to burn our offerings to the old gods and pray that they will protect us in years to come. A long moment of silence shrouds the crooked corridor as the smoke rises up to the nightly sky and then the shaman leads us in a somber hymn concluding the ceremony. Glory to the whip spinner. The prosperity of your capital increases slightly. Spider god plus one with moral authority. Sure. Sounds good. Can we raise our army now? Yes. Small green skin camp built in Carrixiflin. All right, cool. And... 6,300 seems less than before. Hmm. Well, still making money despite raising all the troops because they're raiders, of course. Uh, let me double check this here. Oh, he is in a war. Is that so? Hold on. Who is attacking you? Oh, just some random Karl Franz. Of the sexy and rare peasant rule. Nice. Uh, oh, his, his country is huge. I never noticed. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm raiding Bretonia and they're bigger, but it just keeps going down here. Okay. Which means I should be okay here. They, their army is in the other side of the country. Let's see if we get to raid. We are allowed to raid. Amazing. Let us split in half the troops. Take the big blob. Command it ourselves and go kick this army out. And we need to... Oh. Yeah. Easy fight. Didn't even lose anything. Uh... Can this one literally not be split at all? No, it cannot. Okay, so this one must be able to... Yes, retinue... Carrixiflin tribe here. They must act as scouts over here. And this time we will pay attention. One more time, we'll try it. <laughs> Oh, are they coming over here to fight my little scouting group with the 700 men there? You don't say. And there, their movement is locked. We're gonna murder them. Yep. <laughs> they even get the river crossing penalty. I have received word that our shouter was trying to agitate the nobles of my realm. Oh, he finally found him. <laughs> uh... He got mad. Oh well. And he is also mad at me. So, hmm. the humans have figured out that I'm trying to sow descend in their realm. I think we'll be okay. I mean, Bretonia might decide to attack us at some point. Which would probably be bad. Oh. Yeah, he lost another wife. Murdered on the orders of Lord Manuel Gisro. Interesting. So he, this guy murdered the queen. Brave. And he still has no children. Perfect. Okay, they are gathering some troops here. 
Am I looting anything here? Yeah, this must be... I'm not sure what this is. Siege of Merxheim. How can we siege Merxheim before the trade post? That's usually not how it happens. Some tech points stolen from Ulthuan. We want our siege leader here, Gorkit. Oh, no. Gather them there. Everyone under Gorkit, please. Gorkit in the middle. And everyone goes under Gorkit. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but this way for sure, all the siege bonus will go to the entire army. Yes, siege leader. So we'll try to siege this down quickly. Because I think their army is marching down south to deal with that rebellion thing. I hope. Maybe, just maybe, we can get away. No, 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 no. <laughs> Run! And this is where it counts. Do we get away or do we not? I did get some loot, so this was not for nothing. Oh, boy. Uh, they arrive on the 12th and the 11th. Oh, no. I wonder what will trigger first. They have an army arriving on the 11th, and I am leaving with my army on the 11th of the 10th month. So it's like a matter of seconds in difference. We made it out, and then they caught my scouting army, which is fine. I managed to preserve my army for once. <laughs> Okay. Here we will send out a scouting party in this direction and then go and raid Petonia. Why not? More tech points? Okay. I still have not gotten a single technology increase throughout the campaign. But we could level up... Not siege equipment, but infantry. If I level up infantry... That would be very beneficial to us. We have a ton of light infantry in our army. Melee techniques. What is this? Heavy infantry, pikemen, heavy cavalry. No, no, no. Skirmish techniques is for light cavalry and archers. Cavalry, no. So the, the one I usually go for is military organization for a global supply limit and retinues. But we're like far away from that. Like we haven't even gotten any progress. And I can level up the infantry right now. That would be nice. Improved keeps. Shipbuilding doesn't matter. Construction would be great to level. Castle infrastructure. I wonder if my tribes counts as castles, cities, or temples. It, prob it probably is castles. So this would level up my castle tax. Hmm. Majesty is always nice. It gives us more prestige gain. I think I will take the infantry increase. Okay. He sent his army up and he chased me away. He got what he wanted, but we did get the loot. And it cost me a little bit of troops, but it's fine. Not too bad. How does the war in Bretonia go? He 
He still has his entire army. And he has won back a bit of the war score. Interesting. Might of purity. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone's coming here, so we'll go down and check. Oh, she's up to 9,000. Oh, she's hired mercenaries. 3,000. Huh. Whenever I ignore those messages, it's because it's not important. Uh, Crusader Kings throws a lot of little text messages at you that are not that interesting and more or less relevant. Maybe we get to kill about 200 humans, though. And we have built the building. I don't think we can stick around and loot. Oh, there's a little bit of loot, apparently, when it's colored the flag here, and then it ran out, but that's fine. We'll take what we could there, and oh, oh, it wasn't led by me. I was leading this little <laughs> scouting group. Whoops. That could have been bad. I kind of want to go over here and try to loot that territory now. winter so we're taking attrition but we just disband and wait for summer yeah they had a little bit of loot out here that we got grabbed very nice and there's a bigger chunk of loot here now he is still winning this war mr vampire with 200 tr troops he probably does not have enough troops to siege down the final holding. No, he doesn't. <laughs> so I'm not sure he can win that war. Uh, but okay, I suppose he gets ticking war score, which is what it's called, when he, he controls enough ground here, I think, that it'll start like slowly increasing. And indeed, it just went up. Huh. So he will win unless someone sends... Um, troops there to stop him. A small kitty is demanding your attention. Pat the kitty. We can get kind. We can allow the kitten to follow you home. Then we get a pet cat giving in treat plus one and health. Or we can kick the kitty with a chance of becoming one-eyed. I will allow the kitten to follow me home. We now have a pet cat. Your adorable cat purrs softly when you are close and is always there to comfort you and keep you warm. In, the, in green skin culture, this means that uh, we always have a snack readily available for whenever we get hungry. Oh. I did not realize my son Mahdi is a prisoner of this guy up here. Oh, that was my shouter. Right, because he was spreading dissent in Bretonia. And now he sits in a Bretonian prison cell. He also has a pet cat, by the way. And they don't want to allow me to to pay him to be released. But they haven't executed him yet either. Interesting. I wonder what they are going to do with him. Well, he wasn't that important to me. Seventy for twenty-five, twenty-fourth archers. I pay more for that over here, so that does seem like it would be worth it.
Do we want to spend money on this right now? I don't know. Getting more troops would be nice, of course. Send down the scouts here. I'm wondering if we might take the battle to the Bretonians a bit. Usually they spawn an army here whenever I move down to raid, and if we are quick enough, I might just be able to move in and take it out as it spawns. It'll be a 2,000 unit stack. But I have 5,600 now. Which is a lot. So we send down the scouts. 